Hi, we'd like to show you an example of Nintex workflow connecting to, well, everything. SharePoint, Link, Exchange, Office 365, you name it. And the proof's in the pudding, so let's go. We begin over in an honest-to-goodness Office 365 site. The scenario here is that this is a team collaboration site, standard issue collaboration tools that people are using in order to get a bunch of work done. One of the things they can do is drop off requests to be picked up by the help desk staff. And by contrast, here is an on-premise SharePoint site with a number of extensions added to it, including an index workflow. The help desk technicians work on cases here, and they have more tools available to them. They'll harvest information from the SharePoint online sites and then work on them here. Let's take a look at the workflow that harvests those Office 365 requests and puts them into the Help Desk site. We're doing a query against Office 365, and this is actually brokered through a service called Nintex Live. More on that in a minute. But what we have to do is provide connection details. The other thing we need to know is uh, the set of fields that we want to bring back from that list. And then, of course, any filtering criteria. We don't want to go and get cases that we've uh, retrieved already in the past. Connection information is there, authentication information is there. Now we just need to parse through the results, pluck the correct data items out of every row that came back from the query, and then create a new issue list item that the technicians will respond to. Once we've got that saved, work can begin. So let's run it. I'm going to go ahead to Site Workflows. This has been set up as a Site Workflow. We run it on a schedule, but here I'll kick it off manually. So we click here. We see a picture of the workflow. We know it's the right one. We click Start. Again, in production, this would happen once every 15 minutes or so. But for now, this is being just in time compiled and then executed by SharePoint. And as soon as it finishes processing the very first time, there we go. And now, we can go ahead and monitor this as it progresses. We go over to Site Workflow History, and there's our running workflow. And as we can see right now, we are waiting for Office 365 to query that list and bring us back some results. So what's happening right now? Well, first off, there are a wide variety of web services that live out in the cloud. Some are simple, some involve the need to retry over and over again, some involve receiving tokens and then checking back later for results, and some even involve callbacks. They might all involve unusual authentication schemes because the cloud world is a bit different. Lintex Live is a service that runs in Windows Azure, and it's there to act as a cloud-hosted co-pilot for Nintex Workflow 2010. When Nintex Workflows that want something from the cloud run, when the workflow gets to that particular point, a timer job is created in SharePoint that sends a message to Nintex Live asking it to get some work done on the workflow's behalf. Another timer job receives the results, and Nintex Live handles all of the queue management accordingly. All of those services work in different ways using different authentication schemes and different latency methods and different protocols. That's okay. We have services that understand all of them and know how to talk to them. Moreover, we're able to pull that information together, organize it, and present it to the workflow designer as an easy-to-use catalog. That's Nintex Live. So let's refresh this and see where we stand now. I'll hit F5 and take a look at the status, and hopefully we'll see, mm, not quite yet, maybe one more time, and we'll see whether or not we've received the results and are ready to process them. There we go. Okay, now we're going through the results that are coming back. Let's take a look at this as it evolves. Good. We're parsing it and grabbing different data from it. Yep, we are done. Let's go ahead and check to see whether or not we have any new help desk cases. Sure enough, there are two of them. The two that we found in the SharePoint Online site. Perfect. Now all we need to do is get help desk technicians to work on them. and we have a workflow to handle that. So what we're going to do, well, let's show you one that's already completed. 
Now, one of the things that's been handled is a subject matter has been assigned by a dispatcher, and in this particular case, it's copy editing. And an expert on copy editing is this gentleman, Alberto Sutton. So, what we're going to need to do, and in fact, if you look at the expertise areas here, you see who knows what. So, we have to assign a subject matter to this new case. In this particular case, when we look at the title, it becomes pretty obvious that this has something to do with graphics. So let's assign this to graphics and save it. This will trigger the workflow to begin when it sees that a change has happened. And now, well, let's see what happens next. So we can see from looking at the list that the workflow has started. And one of the first things it's going to do is to figure out who could take this case. It's a graphics issue, and I am indeed one of the subject matter experts for graphics, and I'm the least busy. So it's asking me if I can take this case. I'm going to say, yes, I accept this uh, request to be assigned this case. The whole thing is happening over link in an automated bot-driven conversation. All I need to do is supply that I'm willing to do this and provide a little bit of supplementary information and comments, so I'm looking forward to it. And with that, I have accepted the task. So the task is mine, and we have a client, and the last thing to do is to connect me to the client. And I'm receiving a meeting request in Outlook accordingly. The workflow has set up an exchange server appointment for us by checking our schedules and finding an empty spot that meets both of our scheduled needs. So I'll go ahead and accept this. The meeting gets placed on my calendar and the client's calendar. And if I refresh this one more time, I'll see that the task is indeed assigned to me. So how does the workflow do this? Well, the workflow is made up out of a series of stages. We'll go ahead and find available subject matter experts, find the one who's the least busy, check and see with them if it's okay, schedule appointments, or handle it if we can't find anyone available. The first thing the workflow does is choose a subject matter expert. Actually, the very first thing it does is bring back a set of subject matter experts who could work on the case. The second stage is to select one of them and we're going to do it based on who's the least busy. As for how we figure out who's the least busy, well, let's expand this and take a quick look at this. We look at everybody's available caseload and we count how many each person's got. And then we keep checking to see whose number is the smallest. From there, we pick the one who's the least busy and move on. Now, we don't automatically assign it to that person. We give them a choice to accept or reject the case because a small number of busy cases, that might keep somebody so busy that they can't take any new cases. But in this particular case, the notification message will send out over instant messaging and will allow them to respond just by looking at the notice. Finally, we book an appointment with them. First thing we do is check to find out which suggested meeting times would fit both the client and the technician. And then the thing we'll do after that is go into their calendars and actually create a meeting request. The workflow will own the meeting, but it'll invite both the technician and the client to the meeting as participants. That way, nothing ever gets lost. The whole system works like a charm. Well, that, as they say, is that. You've just seen an example of everything working together seamlessly and having an Intex workflow connect everything in the Office stack together very coherently and very productively. If you'd like to know more information, visit www.nintex.com.